speak to each and every one of you in the community. I'm so delighted to be before you once again, as we know that our God has breathed new life into our lungs on today. He chose us and he called us forth so that we can show up on the earth. And so I'm so grateful to God. I'm so grateful for his presence in our lives. And I'm so grateful that we can come together and just sit with him and allow him to just love on us. And so as we begin to embark upon this time of meditation, you're always encouraged to allow yourself to be in a place and a mindset where you're not distracted, where you're able to listen and receive what God is saying and what he is empowering and entrusting in us on this day. And so we've been uh, doing the meditational series around the word invest. And that was the word the Lord um, just impressed upon my heart as we began to usher in 2022. And that word symbolizes intentionally navigating your visions by entrusting the Savior with the trajectory of your life. And so each day we um, centered around one of the words uh, identifying that invest. And intentional means to be purposeful, be focused, get up with a mindset that I'm going to, that I can, that I will, and do that every day with an open heart so that God can continue to guide you and pour into you. And navigating means to, you know, really just be putting down those plans, writing them down, deciding what you're going to do, us deciding what action steps that you're going to take in order to do the things that God has called you to do. And those visions that we have for our lives, you know, many of us have an overarching vision. We have goals and things and dreams that we set before us that are burning inside of our bellies, but we have not um, done those things that we need to do in order to allow those visions to be manifested on this earth. And so part of that is writing those visions down, writing those visions down and bringing them before the Lord in prayer so that he will give you the guide, so that he will give you the purpose and the plan that he has for you. We have visions for our fitness. We have visions for our health. We have visions for books we, we may want to write or our, our um, dreams that we uh, want to work work on or allow us to um, dwell in and so all of these things our visions for you know where we want to be in five years or um, how we want our financial uh, package to look like and all of these things are things that God has given us because he's given us intelligence and knowledge and wisdom and so write down those visions that you have for every area of your life and then seek the Lord for guidance and then we talked about the word entrusting entrusting is allowing God um, giving everything to God and so we thought about that open hand and and how we place ourselves in the hands of our father and entrust our very lives with everything um, that we have in order for God to get the very best out of us and the Savior our Heavenly Lord, Father the one that sacrificed his life for us the one that gave it up all so that we can have the promise of eternal life the savior that considered us when he died on the cross considered um, the things that we had to experience and he took all of that pain for us so that we can be saved and today we're going to talk about uh, meditate around the word trajectory um, trajectory of our lives and what that means and how um, that should be a part of who we are as we invest, as we trust God, as we rejoice in the Savior, as we look at our visions, as we navigate and make those plans, and as we be intentional in all that God has for us. And so let us enter into this meditational moment by settling your spirit just beginning to take in a few breaths of inhalation. And exhalation by breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. And I know that even thinking about 
just investing brings a level of excitement to our hearts. But even in all of that excitement, we want to allow the Lord to have the trajectory of our lives. And so just continue to breathe in this moment as we settle down. We thank the presence of the Holy Spirit for dwelling with us. And you are encouraged to close your eyes in this moment. And as your eyes are closed, just allow yourself to be relaxed. Allow yourself to think about God. His plan and his purpose for you. And the very investment that he made in you through the sacrifice of the Savior. Thank you, Father. And as you breathe in this moment, just gently bow your head. Allow the tension around your shoulders and your neck to be released with each exhale. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Heavenly Father, we bow down before you and we thank you for the investment that you have made in each of us. We ask, Lord, that you forgive us for any way that we have been in the way of your plans and your purpose and your destiny for our lives. And so, Father, we want to give you and surrender the trajectory of our lives to your hands that we may follow the path that you have laid out for us. Thank you, Father. Psalms 119 and 133 says, Keep steady my steps according to your promise and let no iniquity get dominion over me. Keep steady my steps, Lord. Remove any defilement that will hinder my path. Thank you, Lord. Psalms 37 and 23 says, The steps of a man are established by the Lord when he delights in his way.
Lord, delight in my way. Allow it to be pleasing unto you so that all of my steps are ordered, are planned and are purposed unto you. Thank you, Lord, for all that you have given unto me, for each way that you have shown me your light and your truth. As we breathe, And in this moment, Father, we ask that you speak to our hearts, that you allow us to incline our ears with your voice and allow us to be able to hear your heart as you guide our path, as you lead our way, as you order our steps as we breathe Thank you, Lord. We honor all that you have spoken to our hearts. And we choose to surrender our path unto you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. just taking a moment to move your hands and your arms just a bit to begin to wake up the body and become alert and ready to tackle all that God has for you in today. And just breathing in with great inhalation and a big open mouth exhale. We lift up our heads, we open up our eyes, and we rejoice, rejoice, rejoice in the Lord always. And so as we allow this word to penetrate our beings, we are looking for God to continue to show us how to invest, how to surrender it all unto him, and how to allow him to continually order our steps. Jonah, what the Lord has spoken to your heart on today, and all that you write down, wait and watch move and show up and honor God by allowing him to be pleased with your path. We bless you and we ask that you will always remember to meditate on God's promises and his precepts one moment at a time. Be blessed and go out and be great.